Welcome back. We're going to be talking about trimming and how to trim a track uh, right in the actual waveform of the track without having to put a start or stop cue. Um, and this is really important when you have tracks where you want the track to end and immediately start the next track. Uh, you don't want to have a whole bunch of dead space playing like this track right here. It's a Beatles track. If I start it right from there, uh, watch what happens at this dead spot right here in the song. Song is finishing on its own, and now you have all of that dead space before anything else is going to happen. Now, you may want that, but this is not what I want. This is not what your particular thing that you're trying to program wants. So, without having to do some sort of a uh, jump to cue or a start cue, you can just easily, and you don't have to take it before, we had to take it out, go into QuickTime or Final Cut Pro or Soundtrack Pro or Logic, and we had to trim that song uh, to make it end right there. You know, I don't have to do that anymore. You can edit it on the fly, right in QuickTime, by, <laughs> by doing the simplest thing ever, just dragging a little cursor over. So, right here at the end is a little cursor window, a little, little um, you have a little arrow right here. Do you see that little arrow right there? All we're going to do is we're going to grab that and we're going to bring that in. Now see how it kind of darkens that color? That's telling you what's not going to be played. So we're going to bring that right to there. And now this time, when I hit play, it's going to stop it as soon as the, sound, the, the end uh, of the song happens. Music fades out. And it goes right into the next track immediately. So. That is a, a great way to use your trimming um, uh, windows, your start and your end time. Also, if you don't want to use it manually, you can also go down here to the left-hand side and you'll see a manual start time and end time. So let's say you know exactly that song uh, that you're trying to start. You want it to start at exactly at five seconds and so many milliseconds. You can type that in manually. Uh, the same with the end time. If you know a routine is going to last exactly two minutes, you can put the routine at exactly two minutes by just coming over here. Let's get rid of those. And typing two minutes. Now if we go left, you can see it stopped right there. So now at two minutes of the song, and you can see at two minutes, the song ends. Okay, now I have it auto follow into the next song, which may or may not be what you want to do. Uh, but that's basically how you do your um, start and end times, your trimming. It's very, very simple to do. Um, and then you can also do uh, a lot of features from this, which I'll show you right now.